God, good greetings. This is John Glover on this date of December 12, 2021. I'm here to deliver to you the God order that God has ordained a black man, Professor Gabriel Audu Oyibo, with the ultimate intelligence of Eta sub infinity infallibly. Whereas Eta sub n, first revealed by God, to Professor Gabriel Doyibo in 1990 is the infallible formula for intelligence and N is the level of intelligence. God designed that N for Professor Gabriel Doyibo to be infinity, hence A to sub infinity. And since black people share the same genes as Professor Gabriel Doyibo, God has ordained the black race as the most intelligent race the richest race, the most powerful race. We are therefore the chosen race infallibly, not the Jewish people, the black people. This has been verified and accepted by Yale University, which we'll get into later, United States government and globally. I'm going to call your attention to how Jim Crow has, in effect, surrendered to the announcement of God, the God order back in 1990. I'm uh, just going to call your attention just to just some things, uh, just a second. I will pull up the first of many surrenders that have taken place in light of the God order. You all see the page in front of you. Yeah. The page in front of you is a page from Göttingen University, a German university who had a distinction of being the headquarters of intelligence prior to Gagat and Ofapit Institute of Technology, which is now the real headquarters of intelligence. But before that, they were considered, Gottingen University was considered the headquarters of intelligence. The reason why they were considered the headquarters of intelligence was because they had a professor there, the head of the mathematics department, who was Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. For all those who may not know who Gauss is, let's, call, uh, let's bring attention to the Wikipedia page. Um, Gauss. You all see the Wikipedia page on Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. Yeah. Professor Johann Carl Frederick Gauss, yeah. born April 30th, 1777, transformed on in February 23rd, 1855, was a German mathematician and physicist who made significant contributions to many fields in mathematics and science. This is the important part. Sometimes referred to as the Princeps Mathematicorum. That's Latin for the foremost of mathematicians. And the greatest mathematician since antiquity. Gauss has had an exceptional influence in many fields of mathematics and science and is ranked among history's most influential mathematicians. So does this give you a sense of who Professor Carl Frederick Gauss is? He's considered to be the greatest mathematician since antiquity. He's the top, he's, one, he's the number one mathematician in the European system prior to Gaga and the, uh, the discovery of Gaga, G-I-J, come J equals zero. He comes from Göttingen. And then you have Göttingen University celebrating Gauss years uh, 2005. Well, what does that mean? He transformed, as you saw, in 1855. In 2005, 150 years after, they had honored Gauss at Göttingen, 150 years later, 
with selecting the greatest mathematics works to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. That's why it's called Gauss Year 2005. You see the Gauss Year 2005 here. Okay. The work yeah. that's listed at the very top is the work by Professor Gabriel Abdoyibo, a Gagutian, meaning a um, coming from Gagutia. And Gagutia is the proper name for Africa. He comes from uh, Professor Gabriel Abdoyibo, a Gagutian, and his work of God Almighty's Grand Unified Theorem is placed here at the top of the selection list. But to understand that ranking of the work of Professor Ka uh, Gabriel Abdoyibo, you must then take a look at the runners-up who could have been the number one works to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss in this election. I call your attention to NR19, or Week 19, seven places below the work of Gaga, which has the name Sir Professor Michael Atia, Daniel Yagonitzer, and the title of the work is called Field Medalist, as in plural, Lectures. Well, first, who is Sir Professor Michael Atia. Let's take a look. You see the page of Sir Professor Michael Francis Atia. Yes. Sir Michael, Fra Sir Professor Michael Francis Atia, born on April twenty second, nineteen twenty nine. Transformed on, on December, uh, sorry, September, uh, January 11th, 2019. He was a British Lebanese mathematician specializing in geometry. Atiyah grew up in Sudan and Egypt, but spent most of his academic life in the United Kingdom at the University of Oxford and the University of Cambridge. Oxford and Cambridge universities are two prestigious universities from the country of England. England. He was also in the United States at the Institute for Advanced Study, another prestigious university in Princeton, New Jersey. He was the president of the Royal Society from 1990 to 1995, founding director of the Isaac Newton Institute from 1990 to 1996, and a master of Trinity College from 1990 to 1997. He is a successor, I'm talking about Sir Professor Michael Atia. he is a successor to another famous mathematician in the European system. That mathematician is by the name of Sir Professor Isaac Newton. Can you see Sir Professor Isaac Newton's page in front of you? Sir Professor Isaac Newton, born December 25th, 19, uh, 1642, transformed on March 20th, 1727. He was an English mathematician, physicist, astronomer, theologian, and author, described in his time as a natural philosopher. Widely recognized as one of the greatest mathematicians, physicists, and most influential scientists of all time. He was a key figure in the philosophical, uh, philosophical re uh, revolution known as the Enlightenment. His book, Philosophy Naturalis Principia Mathematica, translated from Latin as Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, first published in 1687, established classical mechanics. But what's important is what I just read to you. It said, he's wide, Newton is widely recognized as one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. Newton, along with Gauss and then an Euler, who's another third individual we'll get into later, they make up the top three European mathematicians, with Gauss basically being the, the best math, European mathematician. Then there's uh, Newton. And although Newton came uh, before Gauss did, and uh, Gauss is considered to be the superior mathematician, Gauss had a lot of respect for Newton. So, Göttingen University could have selected the work of Professor Sir Professor Michael Francis Atia being a successor to Sir Professor Isaac Newton as the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss on that basis alone. 
In addition, if you remember in week 19, it mentioned the work as field medalist lectures. Well, what's the field medal? You see the field medal Wikipedia page in front of you. The Fields Medal is a prize awarded to two, three, or four mathematicians under 40 years of age at the International Congress of the International Mathematical Union, IMU, a meeting that takes place every four years. Now this is the part that's most important. The Fields Medal is regarded as one of the highest honors a mathematician can receive and has been described as the Nobel Prize of Mathematics. You all understand, did you hear that? Did everyone hear that? What this is saying is the Fields Medal is equivalent to Nobel Prize. It's a Nobel Prize for Mathematics award. And if you also keep in mind that the award is, was created in 1936, that's when the first award was given, and it's been awarded every four years since then, you go to the list of the field medalists, starting off at 1936, and you scroll down, You see a Tia's name listed here at, uh, in the year 1966. So that tells you Sir Professor Michael Atia won this award in 1966, uh, about 55 years ago. Then, if you scroll down, Up until the year 2002, which is the last Field Medal Prize award given before the 2005 celebration. So when scrolling down, if you count the number of names from 1936 to 2002, you have 44 Nobel Prize award equivalents or Field Medals, including a TIA. The work Field Medals lecture contained all of the Field Medalists. So when we go back to the Göttingen Gasher 2005 celebration, a TIA at week 19, he is a successor to Sir Professor Isaac Newton from Cambridge University. He is also a Field Medalist, which is award equivalent to Nobel Prize in Mathematics. And the work Field Medalist Lectures contains all the Field Medalists from 1936 up until 2002. Gottigan could have ranked any one of those points as a number one reason for why they should have selected a TIA as the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. However, Gottigan ranked the work of Sir Professor Michael Atia and the other 43 field medals inferior to Gottigan. That's why they put them below Gottigan, seven places below. Gottigan was placed at the center week 26. Atia and the 43 other field medals are placed at week 19. That's seven places below. You all see that. What, yeah. what they've said here, what Gottigan has said here, is that Gagat is worth more than 44 Nobel Prize Award equivalents or field medalists. Field medalists. 
you know, you understand. Then you have, so that explains that one. Then you have the work at week 23. At week 23, you see two Russian names, but the second name is the most important, which we're going to focus on, which is Anatoly T. Fermenko. Who is Anatoly T. Fermenko, you ask? Well, let's take a look. You'll see Anatoly T. Fermenko's Wikipedia page in front of you. Oh, yeah. Anatoly Timovich Fermenko, born March 13, 1945, in Stalano, USSR. He was a Soviet Union mathematician when it was a, the Soviet Union still existed, but now he's currently a Russian mathematician. He's a professor at Moscow State University and uh, well known as a topologist and a member of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Professor Fermenko is a successor to another famous European mathematician. That is Professor Leonard Euler. Can you all see his Wikipedia page in front of you? Yes. Okay. Professor Leonard Euler. Sorry, just one second. Professor Leonard Euler, born April 15th, 1707, transformed on September 18th, 1783. He was a German Swiss mathematician, physicist, astronomer geographer, logician, and engineer who founded the studies of graph theory and topology and made pioneering and influential discoveries in many other branches of mathematics such as analytic number theory, complex analysis, infinitesimal calculus, he made much of the modern mathematical terminology, I'm sorry, he introduced much of the matter, mathematical terminology and notation, including the notion of a mathematical function. He is also known for his works in mechanics, fluid dynamics, optics, astronomy, and music theory. Now this is the part that's most important to towards your understanding who Euler is. This next paragraph. Euler is held to be one of the greatest mathematicians in history and the greatest of the 18th century. That attests to who Euler is. He's considered to be the greatest mathematician of the 18th century and one of the greatest mathematicians in history. That's why we say he's the top three European mathematician with Gauss, Newton, and Euler. We're going to skip the next sentence and then go to the next sentence afterwards, which is Carl Frederick Gauss remarked, quote, The study of Euler's works will remain the best school for the different fields of mathematics. And nothing else can replace it. You understand that? That's Gauss giving a glowing review to Euler. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Like I said, Gauss is considered to be the superior mathematician, but he had respect for Euler like he had respect for Newton. Then in the last sentence of the paragraph, it tells you the connection of, okay, I've gone over this uh, German-Swiss mathematician. What is the connection with Russia and uh, Fermenko? The last sentence of the second paragraph says, Euler, he, he spent most of his adult academic life in St. Petersburg, Russia. You understand? He spent most of his academic life in Russia. Even though he's a German-Swiss mathematician, he spent most of his academic career and life in Russia. The same Russia from which Fermenko comes from. That is how Fermenko is a successor to Professor Leonard Euler. You'll see that. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, Professor Fomenko, being a successor to Professor Leonard Orther, who was considered to be the greatest mathematician of the 18th century and one of the greatest mathematicians in history, who Gauss had a lot of respect for, as you saw from that quote, they could have ranked uh, Fomenko's work 
as the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. Gottingen, on the other hand, they declared that work of Fermenko's inferior to Gottingen. That's why they placed that work three places below where God was placed. God was placed at week 26. That work was placed at week 23. Can you all see that? Yes. And then we come to week 24. Week 24 has the name David Hilbert, Knowledge of Mathematical Thinking. Who is Professor David Hilbert? Well, let's take a look. You all see the Wikipedia page of Professor David Hilbert. Yeah. Professor David Hilbert, born January 23rd, 1862, transformed on in February 14th, 1943. He was a German mathematician and one of the most influential mathematicians of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Now, if you go to this portrait on the right, and you scroll down, you will see, when it comes to institutions, he's associated with Göttingen University, or the University of Göttingen. Can you see that? That's one of the universities he's associated with as a professor. You understand? Do you understand? Yes. He comes from Göttingen University. Yeah. He is also a successor to Professor Carl Frederick Gauss at Göttingen, as he headed the mathematics department after Gauss had. You understand? You understand? Yes. And then if you scroll down yeah. further, doctoral students, if you look at the doctoral students, he has a long list of doctoral students who have their own hyperlink pages on Wikipedia, which means they are stars in the field of mathematics. He has 69 PhDs under his belt in which people got their PhDs in mathematics under, which is a feat unparalleled by most mathematicians. So Hilbert is considered to be the last of the great mathematicians. He comes from Göttingen University, whom's doing the Göttingen Gauss Year 2005 celebration. He's considered to be, he's also a successor to Professor Carl Frederick Gauss as head of the mathematics department, and has overseen 69 PhDs, in, who all of them became stars in the field of mathematics. Any one of those points could have placed a, a Hilbert's work as the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. All of those points would have definitely put him on the position to be the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. But yet, Göttingen declared the work of Professor David Hilbert inferior to Gagat. That's why it's placed two places below where Gagat is placed. You'll see that. So oh, yeah. this establishes the company that which Professor Yipo keeps in this Gauss year 2005 listing and ranking. So now the question now remains, why was Gaga selected as the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss? Well, first, I want to bring your attention to how the Germans and the Europeans in general, but particularly the Germans, have come to honor one of their own, who was considered in their own system and to be a hero, how they honored and respected such an individual, and how our people should be respecting Professor Gabriel Aldo Yibo for the blessing of God. Do you see this 10 Deutschmark, which is a German currency of Gauss's likeness on it, on your screen? Does everyone see that? Yes. I only heard two people. Did everyone, does everyone see this? Yeah. This is a Deutschmark, a currency of Germany, in which they put the likeness of Professor Carl Frederick Gauss on it. Now, you must understand that currency 
Usually the typical players that are put on currency are either monarchs or politicians. You have to, have to be royalty or, or you, have, you have to be elected official, particularly po politician, like a president or a leader so forth. Gauss is neither. He wasn't a politician, he wasn't a monarch, or he wasn't a king so or prince. So the question, or, or do. So the question remains, why did they put, why did the Germans put Professor Carl Frederick Gauss on a 10 Deutschmark? And the reason is quite simply, the German people understood that Gauss, Gauss had put Germany on the map. At the time Gauss lived, Germany was connected, and it was, it was loosely connected states that weren't yet a full country. They had states like Bavaria, um, sorry, Bavaria, Russia, Saxony, and so forth. Separate states that they were under, they were, they were understood as one people, but they still weren't a, a complete nation. But under Gauss, they were able to unify and to become a united country in terms of Germany through his mathematical excellence. And to show reverence for Gauss and to understand his blessing in terms of putting Ga uh, Germany on the map, they put him on the Deutschmark. That is how the Germans honor their heroes. They don't, they don't belittle their heroes or ghettoize their heroes. I hope you all understand this. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. In addition, the other reason why this is important is if you look to the left of his portrait, you will see a graph. You see the graph to the left of his portrait? This graph is known as, in statistics, a branch of mathematics which Gauss had some influence on, as the Gaussian distribution curve, or more, comp more famously known as a bell curve. You understand? Yeah. The bell curve yeah. deals with the ranking of data in terms of a deviation from a standard norm or median point. It turns out if you take the horizontal axis here, the axis that goes from left to right, and you plot the number of weeks in the year Gauss year 2005, you would start from the origin, which is the point where the horizontal axis and the vertical axis coincide or meet. That's a point is known as the origin. To the right to the origin, you will then start off with week one of the Gauss year 2005. And as you go to the utmost right here, you will then stop with week 52. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. To get the standard deviation, or to get the norm of the act, or the median point of the, the particular curve, which is the middle point, you have to divide the Gaussian 2005 weeks, which are 52 of them, by 2. That will get you the median, the middle point. 52 divided by 2 is 26. You understand? Yes. 52 oh, yeah. divided by 2 is 26. As in number, week number 26, where Gagat was placed. So where you have the median or the middle point here at week 26, it corresponds in the curve to the highest point of the curve, that point is known as an absolute maximum. An absolute maximum is the highest point of the curve, whether you go left or right in infinite direction, you still will not get a point as high as the work at uh, week 26, which is where Gagat was placed. Gagat is the highest point of the curve, and this is also brings to mind what Patad General Professor Marcus, uh, sorry, Mark, Martin Luther King had talked about before he was assassinated in terms of reaching the mountain top. I submit to you, God that is the mountain top, and Gottingen University has confirmed it. God that is the mountain top because there's no peer, there's no work that's equal to God. That. All mathematical works are below Gagat from the very curve. In fact, the only entity
that can go beyond Professor Gebrado Yibo's work of Gagat is the work of the Almighty God. You understand me? Yeah. That's very yeah. important. And if it's important that the Germans understood this point, that's why you have Gottgut as listed as the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. But then you might be asking, okay, well, I see number 26. I see what you said with the graph. But how does that equal number one again? You may say the curve, and it's hard to talk about the curve being the ultimate fraction point. Then you might say, okay, why did they select Gottgut to be the number one work? Well, this is where we come to the version of the proof territory. And at Ofapit Institute of Technology, we prove everything that we say. We don't just dictate to you and tell you to follow dogma blindly. We simply prove every point that we make. This proof will require two statements, two statements of mathematical truth, or infallible truth, which is a theorem. And then we're going to deduce the following, which is the first statement we're going to use is Gagat, God Almighty's Grand Unified Theorem, has decoded mathematics, the subject that scares so many people, Mathematics is simply the study of theorems. Mathematics is the study of theorems. What's theorems, for example? What is a theorem? A theorem is a statement of infallible truth. A statement like 2 plus 1 equaling 3, or 2 plus 1 minus 3 equals 0 is a theorem. It's a statement of infallible truth. It can be proven to be true, and once it's been proven to be true, it must be accepted by all. It doesn't take feelings into account or people's preference or so-called decisions in terms of thinking, well, I don't believe it or I'm going to just go, go along with whatever I want to believe. A, a theorem is a statement of truth that must be accepted by all people, all creatures. You understand? You understand? Yes. So mathematics is the study of theorem. The second statement is God Almighty's Grandified Theorem. All the words of that acronym of God that are important. But the last two ones we're going to focus on in this proof, which is Unified Theorem. God that has now determined that from the Unified Theorem part, that God that contains all Theorems. When you have something that has unified theorem, it means it contains all theorems in it. You understand? Yeah. So we're going to take those two statements of one, Gagan has determined that mathematics is the study of theorems, and two, mathematics from its definition, God Almighty's Grand Unified Theorem, unified theorem means it contains all theorems. One can now infallibly deduce that Gagat contains all of mathematics. What does that mean? It means Gagat contains all mathematical works, all correct mathematical works, past, present, and future infallibly. It means the works of Sir Professor Michael Francis Atiyah and other field medals are reproducible and come out of Gagat. It means the works of Professor Anatoly T. Fermenko uh, come out of Gagat, a reproducible and come out of Gagat. It means the works of Professor David Hilbert are reproducible and come out of Gagat as well. It also means the works of Sir Professor Isaac Newton, his gravitation law and the three laws of motion and all those other works, come out of and reproducible from Gagat. It means the works of Professor Leonard Euler are reproducible and come out of Gagat. It means the works of Professor Bernard Riemann, who was responsible for the Riemann hypothesis, which we'll get into later. His work are reproducible from Gaga. And he, uh, Professor Bernard Riemann is a successor to Professor uh, Carl Frederick Gauss as the head of the mathematics department. He was the head of the mathematics department between Gauss and uh, Hilbert. And then you have also the works of Professor Carl Frederick Gauss who the Gauss year 2005 is dedicated to, his works are reproducible and come out of Gagat as well. 
All mathematics works are reproduced when contained in Gagan, past, present, and future informably. So that forced the Germans who, before Gagat, and if there had been no Gagat, there would have been no Professor Oyibo listed as the central work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. In fact, there would not be any black people on this list at all because of the Jim Crow fraud. But after Gagat came on the scene in 1990, the Germans, and the Germans are the highest level in the European system. They are what's known as WASP, White Anglo-Saxon Protestant. This is what forced the German people to put a black man not on the, on the list, but at the very top of the list. The reason is Gagat, being blessed by God through a black man, Professor Gabriel Aldo Yibo. So what they have done here by this declaration of Professor Gabriel Aldo Yibo as the, uh, as the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss, they have officially taken the baton of mathematical excellence from Gauss, who held that uh, position of being the greatest mathematician uh, since antiquity before Gagat. Now they've taken that baton from Gauss and they've handed it over to Professor Gabriel Aldo Yibo, a Gagatian, a black man, and officially declared that same black man, Professor Gabriel Aldo Yibo, as the greatest mathematician of all time that can never be surpassed. We must say to this, Praise God! I don't hear anyone saying praise God. Okay, so we're back. Are we all back? Praise God. So what we're going over here is that Gottigan selected the work of Professor Carl Frederick Gau, I'm sorry, Professor Gabriel Dohibo, to be the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss because Gaga contains all mathematics. This is what uh, put them at the position of being the top. You know, the Gaga put him put at the number one work to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. They've handed the baton over from God to uh, Gauss, who was the holder of the, uh, the position of being the greatest mathematician. Now they've handed it over to Professor Gabriel Dohibo and officially declared Professor Gabriel Dohibo as the greatest mathematician of all time that can never be surpassed. With this we must say, Praise God! Praise God! Praise God! That's exactly what needs to be said at this time. And this surrender was not alone. As powerful as this surrender is from the German people who represent the European people, there's also surrenders to the east of Europe. And that brings us now to Asia, particularly the country of
expert, physicist, mathematical fish, Nendu Dasgupta. You see Krishna Nendu Dasgupta. elsewhere in terms of the whole world to scrutinize and challenge Gagat. Challenges from Canada, United States, Germany, Switzerland, India, UNESCO and United Nations. Matsura and so forth. Gagatian countries, they were to challenge and screw Gagat. But as uh, Minister Brown, who is also in this briefing today, will tell you, after the 30 days were ended, only Gagat was left standing. So he saw that, and one of the particular footages that he saw was his own countryman, a Professor Singh, who was the head of the mathematics department at Amadou Bella University, trying to challenge Gagat. He tried to challenge Gaga by arranging a whole group of uh, professors at ABU to attack and challenge and scrutinize Gaga. But Gaga was thoroughly prepared and Professor Oyibo was thoroughly prepared and he dealt with all those challenges. And he's, uh, Professor Oyibo whipped uh, their behind so badly in terms of their trying to attack Gaga that at the end of the lecture, Professor Singh actually was quoted as saying to Elder Usman Gazama, who was a Born again Christian, part of uh, a security detail member of Professor Yibo's staff at the during the Gaga Global Lecture Series, he stated to Elder Usman Kazama that after the presentation on Gaga given by Professor Gabriel Yibo, his 42 years of mathematical teaching had been reduced to nothing. Did you hear that? Yeah. His 42 okay. years of mathematical teaching had been flushed down the toilet. So that is what he said, and that ultimately got the understanding of, uh, got into, of course, the understanding of Professor uh, Dasgupta, who would witness that footage. And so when Dasgupta saw that in 2007, he wrote to our university a letter. And the letter reads as follows. You, first of all, do you see the letter in front of you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is from Krishnanu Dasgupta, reply to this Krishnanu Dasgupta on Wednesday, July 25th, 2007 at 9.24 a.m. to Professor Oyibo. Subject, God's mission and Dasgupta. 
This is the fact him swear ter testifying and swearing about what he's about to articulate. And the message reads as follows. Dear Oyibo, good day. I've heard that you've been successful in finding the unified field theory. Congratulations. You are more close to God than any of us. You are more close to God than any of us. I was also working upon this theory. Since my theory was different, God was different to me. Please write to me, as I would like to know where I was wrong. Thanking you, yours, Krishnendu Desgupta. So folks, you've just seen in real time the complete and thorough destruction of the caste system forever. We say to this, praise God! Praise God! It's important to understand the message of Daskupta here in terms of when he declares a black man from Gagatya who he would have seen as a Dalit before recognize Professor Gabriel more close to God than any of us. That's a what we call in mathematics a complete diametric opposed opposition. You were in the bottom before, but now you've now made it to the top. That's a complete and when eighty to rotation or a complete diametrically opposed position from where you were to where you are. And since black people share the same genes as Professor Gio Yibo, God has ordained the black race God then understand. That deals with the Hindu part. And like I said, this part of Hindu was something that was in place for thousands of years. Thousands of years this was in place. And yet, it was thought to be something that couldn't be dealt with. But Gaga dealt with it and demolished it completely. So that deals with the Hindu part of his religion. But then we have to deal with the Islamic part as well. In Islam, the most powerful, um, sorry, the most venerated character in Islam isn't even Allah as one would expect. It's Muhammad. Muhammad, known as the Quranic verses. This was to Muhammad, yet it was considered to be such an insult to the fathers of Islam. The year after, 1989, the Ayatollah of Iran called upon all the followers of Islam around the world to go and assassinate Rushdie for that work of the Satanic verses. That's how much the uh, the, uh, the is. Uh, the people who follow Islam don't play when it comes to uh, the image of Muhammad, you understand? A fictional account of Muhammad can get oh, you yeah. a... Yes, a fictional account of Muhammad can warrant a death sentence. So that's what you must understand. So, and now you have that sculptor now articulated. Most Indians and uh, Muhammad is the most venerated character. So when Professor Oyibo has been declared by Daskopta a mathematical physicist who, physicist who knows what he's talking about in mathematical physics, when he says that Professor Oyibo is more close to God than any of us, 
He didn't say Professor Hebo as a prophet like Muhammad or approaching the position of Muhammad. He said that Professor Hebo is more close to God than any of us. That means Professor Hebo supersedes Muhammad. You understand? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. The same is true if he was a Christian, because if he were a Christian, the most venerated character in Christianity isn't even Almighty God, as one would expect. It's Jesus Christ. If he were a Christian, if Dasgupta is a Christian, when he said that Professor Yibo is more close to God than any of us, he, he didn't say Professor Yibo is a Messiah, approaching a Messiah. No. He said that Professor Yibo is more close to God than any of us. That means Professor Yipo supersedes Jesus Christ. And to prove that point, I call to your attention the fact that God has decoded mathematics to be the study of theorems. And theorems are statements of infallible truth. The only language God speaks is infallible truth. So the only language God speaks are theorems. And like I said, mathematics is a study theorem, so the language of God is mathematics. Do you understand that? You understand that? Oh, yeah. So since the language of mathematics is the language of God, you have to have mathematics in order to be God's messenger. Where in the Old and New Testament in the Bible does it specify any mathematical proving ability or mathematics in the case of Jesus. Well, uh, there is none. Where in the Quran is there specified that Muhammad had any mathematical ability or proving rigorous proving ability as well as well? I don't know. In fact, can you attribute any theorem? to Jesus or Muhammad that's stated in the Bible or in the Quran, respectively. Just even one. No, I know not in the Bible. Two fish and five loaves. I'm sorry? Two fish and five loaves. But that's not a theorem. <laughs> that's not a theorem. Oh, okay. That's what you must understand. Two fish and five loaves is not a theorem. It's not rigorously mathematically proven. So the whole point is there's no proof of Jesus or Muhammad had any mathematics associated with it. And like I said, to be a messenger of God, you must speak mathematics because mathematics is the only language God speaks. God blessed Professor Gabriel to you both all of mathematics inside his brains with his A to sub infinity, coming from A to sub N equal G sub nj times x sub j to the n plus 1 power, where a to sub n is the infallible formula for intelligence, and n is the level of intelligence. God has blessed Professor Gabriel Adoyibo with the infinite level of intelligence, the totality of all intelligence, the ultimate intelligence. That is why Professor Gabriel Adoyibo is more close to God than any of us. Even Jesus and Muhammad don't compare. So again, that's what you have here in terms of the Indian not declaring that by Professor Yuba being more close to God than any of us, that means the black race who share the same genes as Professor Gabriel Yuba are more close to God than any other race. Do you understand? Yes. This surrender was also met by uh, yeah. its neighbor to uh, so the northeast of India, which is China. In China, Just a second. They wrote an article in the fifth largest newspaper in the world called the People's Daily of China, which is the paper that brought Mao Zedong into power. They did an article on Gagan in October 2006 titled, Nigerian Scientist Wins African International Prize for Science and Technology. They've said in the fifth paragraph, this is the highest prize for academic achievement in history of science and technology because God, God, God Almighty's grandified theorem, G I J common J equals zero, is the greatest human J 
discovery. You understand? You understand? Right. The Chinese yeah. have surrendered. The Indians have surrendered to the black people. The Chinese have surrendered to the black people. Even the Russians have surrendered to the black people. In terms of the People's Daily, the, uh, sorry, the Gagat Russian Daily News, news item number 1339 on October 28, uh, 30th, 2018, in which they declared Gagat, G-I-J, comma, J equals zero, one, contains all of mathematics. Two, contains all solutions to all mathematics and other mathematical problems. And three, as a consequence of points one and two, Gagat has earned all intellectual, all uh, academic prizes, past, present, and future, and followably. So the whole country, uh, the whole continent of Asia has surrendered. Ch uh, Russia has surrendered. China has surrendered. India has surrendered. They're all symbolic of Asia. They've all recognized Gagat has declared the black race. Uh, Gagat has declared Professor Gebhard Yubo as being the most intelligent creature ever created and the uh, 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 greatest mathematician of all time by them declaring that Gagat has declared Professor Gabriel Hubel as being more close to God than any of us. And since we as black people share the same genes as Professor Gabriel Hubel, God has ordained the black race as the most intelligent, the richest, the most undefeatable race. And therefore, we are the chosen race. Again, you see that. You all see oh, that. Yeah. We now turn to ourselves, our, our own country here in America, because we've done Ch uh, Europe, we've done Asia. Now we have to take a look at what our own country has done, the United States. And I bring to your attention this Gagat Yale University study, which is titled Nuclear DNA Diversity in Worldwide Distributed Human Populations. First of all, I should add that Gagat has been around for 31 years, since 1990. Gagat forced Jim Crow to remove the very deadly and devastating three-fifths factor from all of the things, all the tests we take, the IQ scores and all that. The three-fifths was a very deadly fraud put in place by Jim Crow ever since the antiquity times during the time the Greeks and the, Ke and the Arabs invaded Kemet uh, and Gagatia in terms of misrepresenting our intelligence deliberately. That was busted in 1990, when a black man, Professor Gabriel Doyibo, was blessed by God with eight to sub-infinity intelligence through Gagat. You had a problem with Jim Crow because Jim Crow tried to present us very fraudulently as being a three-fifths race. And it had all kinds of devastating effects on us. But how can you produce a member like Professor Gabriel Doyibo of a race that's blessed with the totality of all intelligence and yet still has his race as so-called the least intelligent. That is where the problems began for Jim Crow. Because you can't be the so-called least intelligent race and yet produce a member of said race, blessed by God with all intelligences, like Professor Gabriel Oyebo. You understand? You understand? Yeah, that is exactly correct, yes. So then, in the, they were ordered then by President Bill Clinton at the time, in 1997, to revise the IQ scores of the black people. And that's where this research com paper comes in, which is Nuclear DNA Diversity in Worldwide Distributed Human Populations. The authors below that title, if it's not clear to you from looking at them, I'll tell you right now. None of them are black people. They're not black people and black uh, women and black men at some HBCU doing some feel-good research. This is Jim Crow and Jim Crow Universities conducting this research. And the best example of this is the name Kenneth K. Kidd, the second name on the second level of below on the left hand side of the uh, list of names. You see the name Kenneth K. Kidd. You see the name yeah. Kenneth K. Kidd? Yeah. Kenneth K. Kidd's initials are KKK. That tells you everything you need to know about who's doing this research. In addition, if you look at the end of the kid, the superscript B, the superscript B corresponds to Yale University School of Medicine, Department of Genetics, 333 Cedar Street, New Haven, Connecticut, 06510. 
So this is basically what we're talking about. Yale spearheading this research, and other Jim, Jim Crow universities are, they have University of Montreal, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. They have Rome, Italy universities, and Pennsylvania State and Louisiana State universities as well. So they're all non-black schools. They're not historical black colleges doing some feel-good research. It's Jim Crow conducting real research. And what they determined is the following. We scroll down to the abstract, and we go to the fourth line, which says, in this way, the European bias in a nuclear polymorphism ascertainment has been avoided. European bias in that sentence is another way of saying the three-fifths or Jim Crow factor. They had to remove the three-fifths of the Jim Crow factor from the experiment in order to obtain any correct results. If they had kept the three-fifths in, they would have gotten the same fraudulent result as usual, which is the black people being not the most intelligent race. But when they took out the Jim Crow factor of three-fifths, they were able to get the real results. And that now brings us to line six of the abstract. Fifteen polymorphisms were shared among most of the populations compared. Whereas 13 sites were found to be endemic to Africans and four to non-Africans. What this is saying is first it's saying that, and also I should mention before I go into that, in uh, line four when it said nuclear polymorphism ascertainment, a polymorphism is a measure of intelligence. It's, a, able to be, it's ability to able to uh, take several points in this one space and then transform it into one point in another space. For example, your eyes do this in terms of when you see, you're taking millions of points in space and then mapping it into one point in your brain. That's a measure of intelligence, which is polymorphism. And what has been understood is the more polymorphism a creature has, the more intelligent the creature is. You understand? Praise God. So when we go back to line six, it says 15 polymorphisms were shared among most of the population compared. What this attests to is the fact that human beings, whether you're black or non-black, gagatin or non-gagatin, you have a base number of 15 polymorphisms. You understand? Uh-huh. And then it says, whereas... 13 sites are found to be endemic to Africans. So that means, or Gagatians, or black people. So you have 15 with an additional 13. So 15 plus 13 is 28. You understand? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You then have the Europeans and the non-blacks, which is the whites, Asian, Jewish, and Arab people. They're the non-blacks. They have an additional four. Fifteen plus four is nineteen. You all see that? Yeah. So you have a ratio of intelligence for the black people to non-black people of twenty-eight to nineteen. Twenty-eight to nineteen is a ratio which can be rewritten as a fraction, which is twenty-eight over nineteen. You can't further simplify that, but if you round up. 28 because plus because Jim Crow underestimates everything that we do. Even in this year's, or year study, they underestimated us. So when it's 28, it's more likely to be higher than that 28. And they do the opposite for themselves, where they overestimate, as I said, where they overestimate themselves, where it said 19, it's more likely to be less than that. So it's 19 minus. So the fraction 28 over 19 becomes 28 plus over 19 minus. Do you understand? So the 28 uh -huh. plus over 19 minus, that means you can round up to the next whole number, the divisible, not a divisible number, and round down to the next divisible number of 18. Rounding up from 28, you go to 30. Rounding down from 19, you get to 18. So 28 plus over 19 minus is approximately, not equal, but approximately 30 over 18. You see? You understand? Yeah. 30 oh, over yeah. 18 share common factors. And the greatest common factor is number 6. If you divide 30 by 6, 
you get 5. So third, the new numerator, which is the upper number of the fraction, is 5. You then have 18 divided by 6. That becomes 3. The new denominator, which is the bottom number of the fraction, is 3. So 30 over 18 is now 5 over 3. 5 over 3 is an inversion or reciprocal of Jim Crow's fraud, which is 3 fifths. They tried to label us their intelligence of 3 fifths, while at the same time trying to usurp or try to take over our reality, when in fact we have been declared by God to be the most intelligent race, with a ratio of five-thirds, or sorry, with a fraction of five-thirds plus intelligence. What that basically means is that when Jim Crow has an IQ of 100 as an average, black people have an average genius IQ of 147. Do you understand? Yes. This is mathematical and scientific it's official. This is after the 2,500 oh, yeah. years of terrorism by Jim Crow, we've now been realized to be the most intelligent creatures. We are now we must be paid, we must be employed, and we must be recognized as the most intelligent members of society. But to this we say to the Prager study that determined that black people are most intelligent with a ratio of five to three, or five thirds plus for the black people, we say, Praise God! Praise God! Now. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes. We must say praise God for the victory of the God at Yale study. And this is more the river why the reasons why Praise we're... God. Praise God. And now I just also want to call their attention to this uh, which is point which is important. You all see the Gaga shirt that I'm wearing. Yes. This is the shirt that, co that compels Jim Crow to respect black people. The Gaga shirt. G-I-J comma J equals zero. Can you all see the equation? Gaga. G-I-J comma J equals zero. Yeah. This shirt deals with all problems yeah. of Jim Crow. And the whole point is we have to get every one of our people wearing the Gaga shirt. The Gaga shirt combats all kinds of fraud in terms of it combats the fraud of the three-fifths because once you wear your Gaga shirt, Jim Crow automatically respects you and treats you as a five-thirds plus individual. But also deals the psychological and physical death of Jim Crow's terrible and very vicious labeling of black people as special ed and substandard education. You understand? You wear this Gaga shirt, not only will you destroy the fraud of the special ed, the pro whatever class that they're in that's a claim of special ed will automatically become a gifted program. You understand me? Right. Oh, yeah. This is the blessing that the Gaga shirt brings about. The whole victory is already illustrated, or the black people is illustrated in the Gaga shirt. And that's what we must celebrate from now on. We must also celebrate our Gagat birthdays and Gagubat, the Gagat Ultimate Human Blessing Award Party in every city, every town, every state. So we can tell Jim Crow goodbye to three-fifths and now hello five-thirds plus intelligence for the black people. Can you all understand that? Yes. Praise God! And we must understand because one of the sisters who was uh, unfortunately couldn't come make the program because there was a death in her family, the, the, all that stressed the reason why our people need to come into the briefings. Jim Crow is using death to demoralize black people from focusing off Gaga. 
We cannot be demoralized from being focused on God. And we can't be demoralized, period, because God is the God order. The God order states that God has ordained a black man, Professor Gabriel Aldo Yibo, with the ultimate intelligence of Eta sub infinity in full of me. Where Eta Saben, first revealed by God to Professor Gabriel Aldo Yibo, is the infallible formula for intelligence. And N is the level of intelligence. God has declared that N for Professor Gabriel Aldo Yibo to be infinity in full of me. Since black people share the same genes as Professor Gabriel Yibo, God has ordained the black race to be the most intelligent race, the richest race, the most invincible or undefeatable or powerful race, and therefore we are the chosen race infallibly. That means black people, since we're the chosen race, we shall not die. We're supposed to live forever. Intelligence is immortality, life, and heaven. Ignorance, on the other hand, is death, hell, Armageddon. So we must say we must choose life over death, immortality over Armageddon, heaven over hell. And that's what we're going to be doing in this briefing tonight. We're going to be focusing on getting off of the, the Jim Crow's fraud of getting as comfortable in three-fifths, when in fact that's been demolished by Gawkin. And more importantly, we're going to deal with the problem of death in terms of being discouraged, in terms of being used. Death is being a very heavy factor to disengage black people from Gawkin. We're not going to disengage from Gawkin. We're going to celebrate our Gaga birthdays, our rebirth from five thirds to uh, sorry, three fifths to five thirds, and in the process, we're going to say goodbye to death. You understand? We're going to say goodbye Praise to death. God. Praise God! Praise God! Praise God! That's the message that everyone has to be speaking right now. You must say goodbye to death, hello to life. Praise God! Praise God! And to bring this point home, I'm going to play for you what happened in Huntington, Indiana. Huntington, Indiana, and ironically enough, the woman who's who, uh, who couldn't make it in her house, she had a, a death in the family. Her brother was in Indiana. And Indiana is very, a very bad place because of Jim Crow, especially the Klan and all that. But the whole point is Gagut has already solved the problem of all that. It's demolished all that. And we put the government, uh, particularly the Hunt, uh, mayor of Huntington, Indiana, on notice that Gagut must be celebrated that black people, because we have been declared the most intelligent people or the most intelligent uh, race, we must be paid, we must be employed, and we must be registered or recognized as the most intelligent members of society. I'm going to play that piece for you right now.
Just a second. Proven that lack of facts regarding individual races is the primary cause of race relations problems globally. Mathematicians globally, including Russia, China, Germany, India, and U.S. TV show Law and Order, and the many parts of the world agree that one docket contains all mathematics, two docket contains all solutions for mathematics, and all from project three. As a consequence of points one and two, agreed to both. A docket has been certified by Dr. Byrne. All academic prizes, past, present, and future, and forward. You can see the Russian Daily News, number 2018. Reverend yeah. Professor Robert Ingram, a former mayor, a police chief, a clergyman, and a university professor, he gave the large key former county to the stuff about Professor Gabriel Albo Ibo, and he also studied that docket file and successfully used it for solving race relations problems in Miami Dade County. Which people believe should be used towards resolving race relations problems in the United States and globally. Furthermore, the City Council of New York City settled the target and discovered and experienced racial harm in the process. We were able to understand and agree that target is the solution to the racial harm problems. Target has been recognized as the greatest mathematics work, past, present, and future, in the Gas Year 2005 celebration. To honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss, the greatest mathematician before Goddard, and in the process, Gargit, which is a dividend of diversity, made America number one globally forever, therefore proving that diversity is the ultimate blessing, not a curse, that now must be celebrated for eternity, that blesses humanity for the return of racial harmony. Furthermore, over 415 Harvard and MIT professors, students, and staff, including mathematics associate professor Dmitry Pachenko, agreed to celebrating that topic is the God Almighty's very fight theme of everything and experience racial harmony in the process. We, the students and faculty of Harvard slash MIT, wish to express our desire to have Dr. D. L. Yibo, Professor of Mathematics and Nobel Prize nominee, give a lecture on our campus about the discovery of the theory of everything, Gaga, for which he has been nominated for the Nobel Prize in Physics. We feel that a lecture and a discussion about the scientific and social implications of this theory would be beneficial to our school by bringing our academic and social awareness. People who are not familiar with how the GIJ from the date was zero who hear this presentation, they may think it is a quote sales pitch. However, the British Parliament heard a similar quote sales pitch about GM1, M2 minus FR squared equals zero from Sir Professor Isaac Newton. And that President Franklin Delano Roosevelt heard a similar quote sales pitch about E minus MC squared equals zero from Professor Albert Einstein. With both formulas revolutionizing the world and with those two less formulas of Newton's and Einstein's that have been proven to have of finite subsets within the public GI data and data zero, which is the informal form of theorem and formula applied to the superset of everything. Therefore, it is not a quote sales pitch, but clearly the ultimate blessing for God to humanity, which the humanity now needs for solving the race relations problem. Newton's power comes from formulas. God, which is the ultimate formula, makes America number one and ended all wars forever as recognized by the United States Pentagon by selecting a doctor to win two memorial warcraft design challenges and showcasing it as the Defense Technical Information Center, DTIC selected, which is one of the high scientific research honors from the Pentagon in 1992 to the DTIC selected stamp on the Gaga Pentagon report, which is entitled, quote, Final Technical Report Optimum Elastic Characteristics for Composite Supermaneuver Aircraft, and with Professor Gio Yuba as the principal investigator, which finally contributed to ending the Cold War and also recognized by Russia, which is celebrated the Gobbet through the Russian Daily News Report on November 1339 on October 3rd, 2018, where Biden was presented as having ended all wars by containing all of mathematics and all other knowledge of informal truths. That includes all formal solutions for all mathematics and all other.
other problems. Therefore, black people who used to make that happen, they must be treated properly. Black people can't be rewarded with imprisonment or death in response to making America number one. Therefore, the following critical action items are urgently warranted as a result of target making America number one and confirming diversity as a very great blessing from God and family. The first critical action item is God ultimate victory for America together with the individual blessed by God with the discovery of God. They must be celebrated by all Americans, cities, and propagated globally, like was done after the Second World War for the form of the E minus entry spirit of Brazil. It's God that made America number one with Russia number two and Germany number three. See the God's been ranking for that. Uh, and the third thing I understand is without Robert, Russia would have been number one, Germany would have been number two, America would be number seven. The second critical action item is the public, including the mayors, the police, the judges, and the jurors, and all others, must learn that Robert, together with its affirmation by the U.S. federal government-sponsored Gaga Yale University study, entitled, quote, nuclear DNA diversity in worldwide distributed human populations, end quote. Quote, co-authored by a Yale University professor of genetics, Dr. Kenneth K. K., whose research K. 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 can spiritually contribute positively to total racial harmony for men's team. It has recognized the black race as the most intelligent race, with a raw intelligence quotient data score of 28 for blacks, compared to raw intelligence quotient data score of 19 for non-blacks. Therefore, black people must be recognized, employed, and paid as the most intelligent members of society. Now verifies that not only must black people receive justice, they must also deliver justice, just like Sir Professor Oz Newton formula of dm one m 2 minus fr squared equals zero, gave the British and other Europeans the privilege to receive as well as deliver justice, and just like Professor Albert Einstein formula of e minus m 2 squared equals zero, gave the Jewish people the privilege to achieve this world's limited justice. And the third critical action item is Indian cities collectively have a black population of 10% of the population. They are 34% of the judge decisions and prison population, which means the police arrest record must be equal or higher than 34%. Since the judge's decision slash prison population are a subset of the police arrest record superset. A person has to be arrested by the police before they go to judges' decisions and prison. And it shows that black people are over three times overpopulated in the police arrest and in the judges' decisions and prison population. Therefore, the police arrest and judges' decisions slash prison population are grossly improper. This must be corrected immediately by making sure the police arrest and the judges' decisions slash prison population are no more than 10% of the total arrest and the total prison population respectively in any given day and period, and also by releasing a minimum of 67% of black prisoners from prison urgently. This can be easily accomplished by following the footsteps of the state of New Jersey, which has begun responding to the bad order report, uh, by releasing a number of black prisoners, as reported in the New York Times article, which is dated November 5th, 2014, in the report. Here's Hogs and fresh clothes, New Jersey's prisoners rejoice at least. And then sad last month with which New Jersey is trying to deal with the New York's idea that new, a United States criminal justice system which quote imprisons people of color in disproportionate numbers. Furthermore, the police need to attend other classes to learn the safest way to arrest or arrest lawbreakers, particularly to minimize their deaths and injuries. The choice is clear. Pursuing the critical action items will put humanity on a path to immortality. Ignoring the same critical action items will put us on a path to Armageddon. We choose our hope in the black people and poor people, in fact, choose immortality over Armageddon, the life of death, regardless and irrespective of the movie target. We need to click on the YouTube link so you can see the piece of Professor Ingram, Reverend Professor Ingram, uh, uh, talks of. Uh, the Monday Day Camping School presentation, which Barbara was presented as a unifying for our unity and force that to bring all people together. Thank you. 
percent critical three action items that have to be established. DACA has made America number one, worldly and forever. It must be celebrated, and black people have to be celebrated. You can't be rewarding black people's prisoners to adjust when we made America number one. Yes, yeah. The Second World War is celebrated E minus six is critical zero. If you see the first print black gentleman as a meat that shows a picture of the celebration of the Second World War in terms of relativity leading to the victory of the Second World War. Gaga is ending all wars, and you must celebrate Gaga like you were celebrating the performance of relativity. Understand that? Uh, I think I understand what you're saying. America's been made number one for Gaga. All wars are ending, though. Well, well, that's what you have to understand. The whole purpose of war is to prove who's the most intelligent. And God has defined that Professor Ojibwe has been blessed with the ultimate intelligence. He's American, so that's basically what you must understand that we have been made number one because of that. We've also ended all wars because there's no purpose to fighting war after this war. The second critical action item also states that black people have to be paid, employed, and respected as the most intelligent members of society. That's something that moves out of the rest of And the third one is Indiana has to realize that for 10% of the population of black people, if 44% of the prison's population, there's something wrong there. Black people can no longer be anything more than 10% of the prison population. And if any one of the, if the percentage was 5 and 10%, the black people must be released. These are the three critical action items which will bring about immortality for the people. And if you choose to ignore them, you will bring on the game. That's what this what I'm saying. We're hoping you choose in the doubt of the game. Okay, well, thank you for the information. Is there anything else that I can do for you today? Well, I was hoping that you would look at the video because you would see that in the Miami Day presentation, Brother Professor Ingram brought everyone together, black, white, and all of them came together, and they issued a proclamation for Professor Ingram on the discovery of Ghana because they understood that Gaga unifies all people and brings and celebrated in effect. We would like you to repeat the celebration in New York like it was done in Miami Bay. And also in New York City, they also have a proclamation which they are as a very important as well. They also saw that we are used to Gaga. We're hoping that you in your city and in New will take that well. At the big university, you had celebrated the Gaga earlier. Oh, I must go now, Kelvin. What do you want to celebrate that? It was done in the early 90s. 92, I come to be a fact. Okay. Well, thanks for the information, uh, Dean Dina. As I said, I can take some time on my own to, uh, to review that. Um, is there anything else I need to know before we wrap up our call? We just want America to celebrate victory or in terms of pocket victory or the making America number one in any one of us. What do you wish? And in Russia has congratulated America, so that is good to I mean, if, 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 as well as the mother or opponent can congratulate uh, America for victory, America should celebrate that victory as well. Yeah. Well, Mr. Hardy, I wish you well on those Did you all hear that? I've proven that black facts regarding... Did you all hear that? Yes. That's the way black people have to be conducting themselves from now on. And so how the mayor took respect or had a position of respect for me as I talked to him as a master and him as a slave compared to... So that's what you must understand. Black people have to conduct themselves like I did 24-7, 365 days a year. I'm also going to play another piece for you. Just one second. From Burlington, uh, uh, Athens, Tennessee. Just one second. Yes, ma'am. 
close of grip this guy up. G.I.J. Connor J. Quizero has proven that lack of understanding of the facts regarding individual races is the primary cause of race relations problems globally. Mathematicians globally, including China, Russia, China, Germany, India, and U.S. say law and order TV program, along with most of the many parts of the world, agree that one, Gaga contains all mathematics. Two, Gaga contains all solutions to all mathematics and all human problems. And three, as a consequence of points one and two, agreements above, that Gaga has been certified by God to have earned all academic prizes, past, present, and future, and forward. You can see the Gaga Russian Daily News, number 1339, October 30th, 2018, at 10. Reverend Professor Robert Ingram, a former mayor, a former police chief, a clergyman, and a university professor, he gave the large key from the county to the discoverer of Gagat, Professor Gabriel Abdul Yibo, and he studied that Gagat finding and successfully used it for solving race relations problems in Miami-Dade County, which people believe should be used uh, towards resolving race relations problems in the United States and globally. Furthermore, the City Council of New York City celebrated Gagat and discovered and experienced racial harmony in the process. And we're able to understand and agree that Gaga is the solution to the racial harmony problem. Gaga has been recognized as the greatest mathematics work, past, present, and future, in the Gas Year 2005, celebrating the um, celebration to honor Professor Carl Frederick Gauss, the greatest mathematician before Gaga. And in the process, Gaga, which is a dividend of diversity, made America number one globally forever. Therefore, proving that diversity is the ultimate blessing, for, not a curse, and now must be celebrated for eternity, and blesses humanity with eternal racial harmony. Furthermore, over 415 Harvard and MIT professors, staff, and students, including Latinx Associate Professor Dmitry Panchenko, agreed to celebrating their that God is the God Almighty's grand unified theme of everything, and experience racial harmony in the process. Quote, we, the students and faculty at Harvard slash MIT, wish to express our desire to have Dr. G. A. O. Yibo, Professor of Mathematics and Nobel Prize nominee, give a lecture at our campus about the discovery of the theory of everything, Gaga, for which he has been nominated for the Nobel Prize in Physics. We believe that a lecture and a discussion about the scientific and social implications of this theory would be beneficial for our school by broadening our academic and social awareness. People are familiar with, are not familiar with Scott Becker, the G.I.J. Kong J.K. Zero, and hear this presentation, they may think of a, quote, sales pitch. However, the British Parliament heard a similar, quote, sales pitch about GM1, M2, minus FR squared equals zero, from Sir Professor Isaac Newton. And President Franklin D. Roosevelt heard a similar, quote, sales pitch about E minus M2 squared equals zero, from Professor Albert Einstein. With four formulas revolutionizing the world, and with those two last formulas of Newton's and Einstein's that have been proven to have origins or finite subsets in the Gaga GIG, which is the incredible total theory slash formula, which is the ultimate superset of everything. Therefore, it is not a, quote, sales pitch, but clearly the ultimate blessing from God to humanity, which the humanity now needs for solving the race relations problems. Military power also comes from formulas. And Gaga, which is the ultimate formula, makes America number one and ended all wars forever, as recognized by the United States Pentagon by selecting a Gaga solution to supermaneuver war plane design challenges and showcasing it as the Defense Technical Information Center, or DTIC, selected. The highest scientific research honors from the Pentagon during 1992, which you can see the DTIC selected stamp on the Gaga Pentagon report entitled, quote, Final Technical Report on Optimum Aeronastic Characteristics for Composite Supermaneuverable Aircraft, with Professor Gio Yugo as the principal investigator, which highly contributed to ending the Cold War, and also recognized by Russia, which celebrated Gaga through their Russian Daily News Report 1339, October 30, 2020, where Gaga was presented as having ended all wars by concerning all mathematics and all other knowledge of the evolved truth. That includes all the solutions to all mathematics and all other problems. Therefore,
Therefore, black people who were used to make that happen, they must be treated properly. Black people can't be rewarded with imprisonment or death in response to making America number one. Therefore, the following critical action items are urgently warranted as a result of Gaga's making America number one and containing or uh, confirming diversity as a very great blessing from God uh, God above. The first critical action item is that the Gaga ultimate victory for America, together with the individual blessed by God with the discovery of Gaga, must be celebrated by all American cities and propagated globally, like it was done after the Second World War for the form of the D minus M to square to zero. Since Gaga made America number one, with Russia number two, and Germany number three, which you can see in the Gotchkin University ranking. And to further that understanding, without Gaga, Russia would have been number one. Germany would have been number two. America would have been number seven. The second critical action item is the public, including the mayor, the police, the judges, and the juries, and all others must learn that Gaga, together with its confirmation by the U.S. federal government sponsored Gaga Yale University study, which is entitled, quote, Nuclear DNA Diversity in Worldwide Distributed Populations, end quote, authored by a Yale University professor of genetics, Dr. Kenneth K. Keen whose initials KKK can spiritually contribute positively to racial, total racial harmony for humanity. They must recognize the black race as the most intelligent race. And this has been recognized by the Yale study with raw intelligence uh, quotient data score of 28 for blacks compared to raw intelligence to quotient data score of 19 for the non-blacks. And therefore, black people must be recognized, employed, and paid as the most intelligent members of society which now verifies that not only black people must receive justice, they must also deliver justice. Just like Sir Professor Isaac Newton from the GM1M2 minus FR squared equals zero, gave the British and other Europeans the privilege to receive as well deliver justice. And just like Professor Albert Einstein from the E minus century squared equals zero, gave the Jewish people the privilege to receive as well deliver justice. And the third critical action of item is Tennessee City collectively have a black population of 18% of the total population. There are 42% of the judges' decisions slash prison population, which means the police arrest record must be equal or higher than 42%, since the judges' decisions slash prison population are a subset of the police arrest record 2%. A person has to be arrested by the police before they go to the judges' decisions and prison, showing that black people are almost two and a half times overpopulated in the police arrest and in the judge's decisions in prison population. Therefore, the police arrest and judge's decisions slash prison population are grossly in error, which must be corrected immediately. By making sure the police arrest and the judge's decisions are no more than 18% of the total arrest and the total prison population respectively in any given day or period, and by releasing a minimum of 60% of the black prisoners from prison urgently which can be easily accomplished by following the footsteps of the state of New Jersey, which has begun responding to the bad order for Gothic by releasing a number of black prisoners, as reported in the New York Times article dated November 5th, 2020, entitled, quote, Tears, Hogs, and Fresh Clothes, New Jersey's Prisoners Rejoice at Release, uh, which was signed last month, with which New Jersey is trying to deal with the United States criminal justice system that, quote, imprisoned people of color in disproportionate numbers. Furthermore, the police in your area need to attend Gaga classes to learn the safest way to arrest lawbreakers, particularly to minimize their deaths and injuries. So the choice is clear. Pursuing the critical action items to put humanity on the path to immortality, while ignoring the critical action items then will put humanity on the path to Armageddon. We're hoping that people will choose immortality over Armageddon and life over death respective of who uses Gaga. Would you like to click on the YouTube link? This is the link that we to see what Reverend Professor Ingram did in terms of uh, uh, bringing racial harmony in uh, Miami-Dade County.
protection items. Black people are first afternoon, uh, of all people have to serve at the God of ultimate victory that makes America number one. That's the first thing. The second thing is that black people must be employed, uh, recognized, and paid as the most intelligent members of society. And three, the police arrest in Tennessee, there cannot be any more than 18% of any day or any population in, in the city. And that if they, uh, if the goods exceeds 18%, the black prisoners must be released as it was done in New Jersey. Yeah, so uh, obviously, uh, you know, some of that time off rates are beyond my ability to avoid black people. Thank you, 
very much. Uh, sounds like a name thing out for you. Yes. Uh, we also tried to work with Oak Ridge Labs. I don't know if Oak Ridge Labs is uh, close to you, but the laboratory, but the whole point is we, we have a connection with Tennessee. Yeah. I'd love to hear it. Uh, take care, John. Thank you very much, and God bless you. So we're ready at 5, 830, right? For the briefing, right? Those who have dinner are ready to eat dinner. They should eat their dinner now. All right. And come back at 830.